Hello everyone. My name is Anthony Boulil. I'm a Geomatics Consultant at GeoPlus and today I will show you how to use the Color by Distance tool in Vision LiDAR. But first, to better explain the function, I will show how to create a plane because we're measuring the distance between a plane and the point cloud. So planes are defined in the Explorer under the Objects tab and in the object type planes. So to create a plane, we may add first a plane by clicking on the plus icon here, by adding by clicking two points. So if I want to observe this wall here, I may pick a plane on the wall. When we're picking by two points, it's important to note that it's always going to be at 90 degrees. We can pick a we can create a plane by picking three points. So I can pick three points on the screen as so. We're also creating a plane between the three points. However, this one may not have the 90 degree angle. We can also add a point by detecting a point. So I can simply click on the screen and with the uh, detection parameters that have been set. The software is going to detect the nearest plane available. There's a fourth option here for detecting planes. It's in Analyze in Planes. And here we have a batch plane detection. So with a given tolerance, a minimum area for the detection, a minimum number of points for each given plane, we may run a batch detection. So here I may limit by radius because I don't want to run on my entire project and pick a starting point and run the detection on that given area. Now the software is going to detect any planes that match those uh, definition of planes. So here we're, we have a number of planes now in our list we are going to be able to use our, these planes to do our color by distance. So color by distance, we may use any given plane that we have in our list. So I can select a plane here. I may use the first plane that I picked at the beginning. Or my, I may also redo the exercise in picking two points directly, three points, or detecting a plane with the given parameters here. For the moment I'm just going to use the plane 1 as the first plane that I picked. I know that it's at 90 degrees. So for the interval we have a few options here. Uh, there's a minimum maximum distance so we can set the interval to be asymmetric here or we can set it to be symmetrical here. So in this case, it's 10 centimeters interval. We may set this, however, to 0.10 and see it's now asymmetrical. But for this case, I'm just going to leave it at 5 centimeters on each side. Now these options we've added, cut lower and cut upper, allows us to remove any points that are outside of this range. We may notice also that there are a number of points that are within that definition of the plane. We may not want in our analysis. So for that, we may use the fence tool, which could be useful. So we can pick a fence. And here we're left with really only everything included inside that given fence. Now here also we may be certainly at an angle so we can click here there's an icon to set the view perpendicular to the selected plane so now we know we're completely perpendicular to the plane um, I can add annotations to my window here so by clicking on add annotation I can pick a given point here and it's going to appear on screen so I pick a point that I want annotated and I pick the insertion point for the label 
and I will be left with some information about the annotation. So here, if in any case I'm not satisfied with one of the labels I've added, there's also a button for deleting a label, an annotation. So I may delete any information I may have added as well. There's an export button to which allows to export to DXF format or to text file format. Finally, the compute histogram. Computing histogram is going to measure the distance between the plane and the points. Certainly it's going to take into account if there's a fence. So if you haven't used the fence, it's possible it's calculating all outside points as well. So it's interesting to add the fence for this calculation. So we can see most of our points are located within a centimeter or two of my plane. We have also an option to create a report. Here there's a button where we have a few options for the PDF report. So we can set the title here as well as the subtitle. Export image is going to enlarge the image to the maximum space. However, it's going to crop out a, a bit of information. So I'm just going to leave it unchecked. And I can now create the report. So this window is asking me to save the report in a given area that I wish to save. So I click on save. And we can see here a report has been created. So a PDF report with the title and the subtitle, as well as the histogram with the distribution of the points, as well as a print screen of my, of my point cloud, as well as all the annotations that I've added. So that's pretty much it for the color by distance to plane tool. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and stay posted for more Vision LiDAR tutorials. Thanks very much for listening.